Brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. Jurassic World. Jurassic World is a 2015 American science fiction adventure film, and the fourth installment of the Jurassic Park series. The film was directed and co-written by Colin Trevorrow, produced by Frank Marshall and Patrick Crowley, and stars Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. The production companies were Steven Spielberg's Amblin Entertainment, also responsible for the rest of the Jurassic Park franchise, and Thomas Tull's legendary pictures. Set 22 years after the events of Jurassic Park, Jurassic World takes place on the same fictional Central American island of Isla Nublar off the Pacific coast of Costa Rica, where a theme park populated with cloned dinosaurs has operated for 10 years. The park plunges into chaos when a genetically created dinosaur breaks loose and goes on a rampage across the island. Universal Pictures intended to begin production on a fourth Jurassic Park film in 2004 for a summer 2005 release, but the film entered over a decade of development hell while the script went through revisions. Following a suggestion from Spielberg, writers Rick Jaffa and Amanda Silver explored the idea of a functional dinosaur park. Once Trevorrow was hired as director in 2013, he followed the same idea while developing a whole new script with Derek Connolly. Principal photography rolled from April to August 2014, primarily in Louisiana while also using the original Jurassic Park filming locations in Hawaii. Again, dinosaurs were created through computer-generated imagery by Industrial Light and Magic, and life-sized animatronics by Legacy Effects, a company created by the alumni of Jurassic Park veteran Stan Winston. Jurassic World was completed on May 10, 2015, and was released in over 60 countries beginning on June 10, 2015. After a record-breaking opening weekend during which it grossed $500 million worldwide, Jurassic World generated a total of $1.6 billion in box office revenue, standing as the fourth highest-grossing film of all time without inflation adjustment as well as the second-highest-grossing film of 2015, and the highest-grossing film in the franchise. A sequel is scheduled for release on June 22, 2018. Plot Following the demise of dinosaur-themed Jurassic Park, a new resort called Jurassic World opens in its place on Isla Nublar years later. The Masrani Global Corporation owner of the genetics company Ingen that creates the dinosaurs has been operating the successful tourist destination for the past 10 years. Brothers Zach and Gray Mitchell visit Jurassic World to spend time with their aunt Claire Deering. The park's operations manager, Claire, a busy workaholic, assigns her assistant Zara to be their guide, but the boys evade her and explore the resort on their own. Owen Grady, a Navy veteran, has been researching the intelligence of the park's four velociraptors. InGen Security Chief Vic Hoskins believes the raptors should be trained for military use despite Owen's objections. Park owner Simon Masrani has Owen evaluate the paddock of the park's new hybrid dinosaur. Indominus Rex, before the attraction opens. Owen warns Claire about the danger of raising Indominus in isolation, pointing out its lack of socialization with other animals. When the staff learns that the Indominus appears to have escaped its paddock, Owen and two others enter the enclosure, able to camouflage itself and mask its heat signature. The Indominus suddenly appears and devours Owen's companions before escaping into the island's interior. Owen orders the Indominus to be killed, but Masrani instead sends a specialized unit to capture it. When most of the unit is killed, Claire orders the evacuation of the island's northern sector, 
While exploring in a gyrosphere ride, Zack and Grey enter a restricted area. The nearby Indominus attacks and destroys their sphere, but both manage to escape to the ruins of the original Jurassic Park Visitor Center. They repair an old Jeep Wrangler and drive back to the park resort. While Claire and Owen are searching for the boys, they encounter the Indominus and barely escape themselves. Masrani and two troopers hunt the Indominus by helicopter, but when the Indominus smashes into the park's aviary to escape gunfire, it releases a flock of pterosaurs that collide with the helicopter, causing it to crash, killing Masrani in the process. The pterosaurs then attack the resort itself, in the chaos. Zara is carried off by pterosaurs before falling into the park's lagoon and being devoured by the park's Mosasaurus. Gray and Zack eventually find Owen and Claire. At the resort as armed personnel subdue the pterosaurs with tranquilizers. Assuming command, Hoskins orders that the raptors be used to track the Indominus. Owen is forced to accept Hoskins' plan and lead the raptors. Upon reaching the Indominus, the dinosaurs begin communicating with one another. Owen realizes that the Indominus includes raptor DNA, and it becomes the raptor pack's new alpha. Taking command away from Owen, Hoskins arranges for Chief Geneticist Dr. Henry Wu to flee the island by helicopter with dinosaur embryos, in order to protect his research. Owen, Claire, and the boys find Hoskins at the lab packing up more embryos. Hoskins reveals his plan to create miniature versions of the Indominus for use as weapons but a raptor breaks in and kills him. Owen re-establishes his bond with the raptors before the Indominus reappears. The raptors attack, but are all seemingly killed. Claire releases the park's Tyrannosaurus Rex and lures it into a battle with the Indominus. The T-Rex is overpowered and is knocked to the ground, before the Indominus can move in for a killing blow. Blue, the lone surviving raptor, joins the attack, distracting the Indominus long enough for the T-Rex to recover. The raptor and T-Rex force the overwhelmed Indominus toward the lagoon, destroying part of the fencing. As the Indominus prepares to attack again, the Mosasaurus leaps out of the water and clamps its jaws on the Indominus before dragging it underwater. The T-Rex retreats, followed by the raptor, who turns to acknowledge Owen before leaving. Isla Nublar is once again abandoned, and the survivors are evacuated to the mainland. Zack and Gray are reunited with their parents, while the T-Rex roars over Isla Nublar. Development in March 2001, Jurassic Park the third director Joe Johnston denied rumors of a fourth film being made. In May 2001, Jurassic Park the third executive producer Steven Spielberg had Amblin Entertainment commence development of ideas for Jurassic Park the fourth, which he planned to produce late into Jurassic Park the third's production. Spielberg devised a story idea which he believed should have been used for the third film instead. In June 2001, Johnston announced he would not direct the film, and that Spielberg had a story idea that would take the series' mythology to a new level. Johnston later said the film would feel like a departure from the previous films, implying it would not be set on an island. In July 2001, actor Sam Neill, who portrayed Dr. Alan Grant in previous films, said he could not imagine a way for his character to be involved in another film. Neill was contracted for a total of three films. Other actors from Jurassic Park the Third were also signed on for a potential fourth film that same month. Johnston denied, then later hinted, that the film would involve the Pteranodons. From the ending of Jurassic Park III, in April 2002, 
It was reported that the fourth Jurassic Park would be the last one in the series and would ignore its predecessors' events. In a June 2002 interview with Starlog magazine, Spielberg officially confirmed the fourth film, which he hoped to have Johnston direct. Spielberg confirmed there was also a story, which he considered to be the best one. Since the first film, on November 4, 2002, Neil said there was a chance he would be in the film. On November 7, 2002, William Monaghan was announced as the screenwriter, with Spielberg serving as executive producer and Kathleen Kennedy as producer. A month later, the film was announced for a summer 2005 release. In January 2003, Jeff Goldblum said he had been asked to stay available for a possible return of his character Ian Malcolm. On January 30, 2003, it was reported that the story would involve dinosaurs migrating to the Costa Rican mainland. A team of experts, including Alan Grant and Ian Malcolm, chartered expedition to one of England's offshore islands and discovered the dinosaurs breeding uncontrollably. The plot would involve the characters devising a solution to restrict the spread of the dinosaurs and prevent an ecological disaster. It was also reported that the plot contained a top-secret aspect. In April 2003, Stan Winston confirmed his special effects studio was in the design phase for the film. Winston also said that Spielberg wanted to adapt several previously unfilmed scenes from Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park novel and its sequel, The Lost World. In July 2003, Kira Knightley said she was in consideration for two separate roles, including a small role as a granddaughter. Monaghan's first draft of the script was finished later that month, with a story no longer set in the jungle as in the previous films. A director had yet to be discussed at that time. Neil confirmed he would reprise his character, with filming set to begin in 2004 in California and Hawaii. In September 2003, Richard Attenborough said he would reprise his role as John Hammond. In October 2003, paleontologist Jack Horner said he would return as technical advisor for the fourth film as he had done for previous Jurassic Park films. Horner hinted that Velociraptor would be an integral part of the film. Later that month, Horner was asked about a hypothetical idea of humans evolving from dinosaurs rather than mammals. Horner responded, keep thinking about that, and in a couple of years go see Jurassic Park 4. Kira Knightley's character was written out in late 2003. In March 2004, Johnston said he had not been asked to direct the film, and hoped that Spielberg would direct it. Johnston said a story was being written that would take the series in a completely different direction, away from the island and away from the T-Rex and all this. In April 2004, script doctors were being sought to work on the film's story, which involved dinosaurs being trained by the government to carry and use weapons in battles. In May 2004, it was reported that screenwriter John Sayles was writing the script. Sayles was hired to finish earlier work done by Monaghan, who had left the project to work on Kingdom of Heaven. Sayles ultimately wrote two drafts for the film. In Sayles' first draft, Isla Nublar, and in Gen have been taken over by Grendel Corporation, a Swiss holdings company, while creatures from the island have begun attacking people on the mainland of Central and North America. The script featured a brief return to Isla Nublar, and would focus on a mercenary named Nick Harris, a new character who is sent by John Hammond to the island to retrieve a canister of dinosaur DNA that was lost. During the events of the first film, with the DNA, Hammond intends to have his scientists create a new group of infertile dinosaurs that can kill the current infestation of creatures. 
After Harris retrieves the canister, he is kidnapped by Grendel and taken to their medieval castle headquarters in the Swiss Alps, where he is persuaded into helping the company train a team of five Deinonychus modified with human DNA for problem-solving skills and dog DNA for obedience and two Dilophosaurus for use on rescue missions and to fight against drug dealers. The dinosaurs would be equipped with body armor and would use their teeth and claws as weapons. The script focused primarily on the efforts of Harris and a team of experts as they train the dinosaurs who would also have hormone-omitting devices attached to their heads to help control the moods and behavior. Hammond would be the only returning character in this draft. The concept of a human who trains raptors was an idea that came from Spielberg. By June 2004, Frank Marshall had joined the project as a producer that month. It was reported that Alex Proyas was in discussions to direct, with filming expected to begin in March 2005 for a rescheduled winter 2005 release. Filming would have started at Pinewood Studios, where a massive tank was to be constructed for scenes involving marine reptiles. In July 2004, the script was being rewritten with Jeremy Piven and Emmy Rossum being considered for two of the lead roles, and Richard Attenborough reprising his character. Later that month, Proyas said he was not interested in directing the film. In August 2004, Drew McQueenie of Ain't It Cool News published a review of Sale's initial draft, writing, I think it's well written and certainly inventive but I also think it just might be the single most bug-fuck-crazy franchise sequel I've ever read. In 2005, Sales confirmed this to be an early draft of the script, intercepted through Spielberg's email by a hacker. In late August 2004, David Boreanaz was rumored, and later reported to have the lead role. Boreanaz was actually in consideration for Fantastic Four. Sales was still rewriting the script in September 2004, with the film on track for a winter 2005 release. Sales' next draft, which involved genetically engineered human dinosaur mercenaries, was scrapped. In April 2005, Winston confirmed the film was on hold because of repeated revisions of the film's script none of which satisfied Spielberg. According to Winston, he felt neither of the drafts balanced the science and adventure elements effectively. It's a tough compromise to reach, as too much science will make the movie too talky, but too much adventure will make it seem hollow. In November 2005, Spielberg said he planned to include a scene in the film, taken from Crichton's The Lost World novel. That would involve characters on a motorcycle as they flee from raptors. In January 2006, Johnston and Horner were working on a new screenplay, and more work on it was expected to begin immediately after the 2008 release of Indiana Jones and The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. In February 2006, Marshall said the film now had a good script, with filming expected to begin in 2007 for a 2008 release. In March 2006, Marshall said the film had a script and was getting a director, with Johnston as a possible candidate. In April 2006, Marshall said there was an idea for the film, but not a script. Marshall went on to deny that Crichton would write the script, or that Spielberg would direct it. The script was still being worked on in June 2006. In July 2006, Spielberg denied an internet rumor that Breck Eisner would direct, saying Johnstone was standing by for the job. In December 2006, Laura Dern said she was open to the possibility of reprising her role as Ellie Sattler, but had not been contacted about appearing in the film. In March 2007, 
Neal said he knew nothing about the project. In April 2007, Dern said she had been contacted about appearing in the film, with filming expected to begin within the year for release in 2008. It was also reported that Johnston would not be directing the film. In December 2007, Marshall said further work on the script would not commence until the end of the 200,708 writers. Guild of America strike, with filming potentially starting in 2008. For a release in the summer of 2009, Horner's 2009 book, How to Build a Dinosaur, was originally meant to come out at the same time as the film as a scientific companion volume. Before his death, Attenborough was contacted about reprising the role of John Hammond. Goldblum had expressed some interest in reprising his role of Ian Malcolm for the fourth film. In December 2008, Marshall and Kennedy were asked if there was any development on the sequel. Kennedy responded, Number, I don't know, you know, when Michael Crichton passed away. I sort of felt maybe that's it. Maybe that's a sign that we don't mess with it. While Marshall and Kennedy were no longer signed with Universal Pictures in a production capacity, it was said that the two would remain involved with the studio and its plans for Jurassic Park 4. In June 2009, Marshall said the film did not have a story. In November 2009, Johnston discussed the possibility of Jurassic Park 4, stating that the story for the film is completely different from that of its predecessors, and would take the franchise into a whole other trilogy. In a January 2010 interview, Johnston reiterated that Jurassic Park 4 was set to be the beginning of a second Jurassic Park trilogy. On June 15, 2011, it was reported that Spielberg had met twice with writer Mark Protosvich to work on a story for a potential fourth Jurassic Park film. In July 2011, Johnston said he was in discussions regarding the fourth film, which was still planned as the start of a new trilogy. Later that month, at the San Diego Comic-Con International, Spielberg said a writer was working on a treatment for the film, which he said would be possibly released within the next two or three years. A representative from Universal said 2013 would be the preferred deadline for completion. Over the next three months, Mark Protasevich wrote two story treatments for the film. Spielberg had hoped to have a writer working on a full screenplay for Jurassic Park IV. By the time he started filming his other project, Lincoln, in October 2011, with the hope that the script would be finished by the time Lincoln was finished. However, he and Kennedy felt that neither of Protasevich's treatments consisted of the right story for a fourth film. Despite this, Spielberg said in October 2011 that the script was being written by Protasevich and that he felt the story they were working on was stronger than that of Jurassic Park III. In December 2011, Kennedy said a script had not been written yet. A story ideas were still being discussed. In January 2012, Kennedy said a story had been chosen and that work on the script would begin. That month, Spielberg said he would not direct the film, opting instead to be a producer. On June 21, it was confirmed that Rise of the Planet of the Apes writers Rick Jaffa and Amanda Silver would be scripting Jurassic Park 4. Pre-production On January 11, 2013, Universal said the film would be shot in 3D and released on June 13, 2014. In February, it was reported that Kathleen Kennedy would not be producing the film in favor of focusing on Star. Wars, The Force Awakens for 2015. Her husband and production partner Frank Marshall took over as the primary producer. Shortly thereafter, the director of studio operations at Raleigh Studios in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 
confirmed that Universal Pictures had reserved space there from April to November 2013, without specifying the project for which it was reserved. As Kennedy prepared Star Wars The Force Awakens, Brad Bird, who wanted to work on the film, but was too busy with Tomorrowland, suggested to her that she employ director Colin Trevorrow to work as a stand-in during the pre-production of Star Wars. This instigated Kennedy and Marshall to watch Trevorrow's first film, Safety Not Guaranteed. Marshall was impressed by the film, and at the end of February 2013, he arranged a meeting between himself, Trevorrow, and Spielberg regarding the Jurassic Park job. The filmmakers had spent a year looking for a director. Trevorrow flew from his home in Vermont to Amblin's offices in Los Angeles, where he was subsequently hired without reading Jaffa and Silver's script, which was still being written. Universal announced Trevorrow as director on March 14, while adding that Patrick Crowley was a co-producer. Trevorrow had been a fan of the series since he saw the original film during its theatrical release. In April 2013, Jack Horner said in an interview that a new, previously extinct creature would rise to stardom in the film, saying, I can't actually tell you who that will be, but you'll want to keep the lights on after you see this movie. After reading Jaffa and Silver's draft, Trevorrow insisted on completely rewriting the script with writing partner Derek Connolly, who had never seen any of the Jurassic Park films prior to that point. Trevorrow had told the filmmakers, If I direct this screenplay, it's going to be a bad movie. I'm gonna do a bad job, because I just don't get it. Trevorrow and Connolly wrote their own draft of the script over a couple of weeks. The studio received the draft on May 6, 2013 and found the script changes more large-scale than anticipated. On May 8, 2013, the studio announced it was pushing the release from June 13, 2014, to an unspecified future date. Prior to the delay, actors Bryce Dallas Howard, David Oyelowo, and Garrett Hedlund had been considered for roles in the film. Filming had been set to begin June 24, 2013. Delaying the film allowed Trevorrow and Connolly more time to work on the script, as Spielberg felt that it needed improvement. Another reason for the delay was to allow time for the construction of practical sets. For the fictional theme park, it was previously intended to add in these buildings using computer effects. On May 2, 2013, Trevorrow tweeted a picture of Kauai taken during location scouting with the caption, Nubla, the name of the island in the original film. Later that month, Sam Neill said it was unlikely he would be a part of the film, stating, I'm told it's a big reboot, a total rejig. Trevorrow eventually tweeted that, Reboot is a strong word. This is a new sci-fi terror adventure set 22 years after the horrific events of Jurassic Park. In June 2013, a teaser banner for Jurassic Park 4 was revealed at Licensing Expo 2013, giving a 2015 release. That month, it was reported that the film would revolve around a fully functional dinosaur theme park. On September 10, 2013, Universal Pictures confirmed the film would be titled Jurassic World and would be released on June 12, 2015. Trevorrow chose to rename the film from its previous title, Jurassic Park IV, to differentiate it from previous films in the series. Trevorrow also said that within the story, if you named a theme park, Jurassic Park, after the disaster that had happened it would be a horrible PR mistake, in contrast to the prevalence of digital cinematography in the 2010s. Cinematographer John Schwartzman used Panavision cameras shooting on a combination of Kodak 35mm and 65mm film. 
one of the 65mm cameras used on the production had been used in the past to shoot Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. The reason the filmmakers chose to shoot Jurassic World on film stock, in addition to Spielberg's and Schwartzman's own personal preference for the format, was in an effort to match the visual aesthetic of the previous three film shot Jurassic Park pictures, as well as the fact that the film's exterior jungle scenes required a greater dynamic range of light than digital cameras could provide. 65mm film was used for visual effect sequences as well as location shots, where the filmmakers wanted extra visual impact. The film is presented in a 2.001 aspect ratio, an intermediate ratio that falls between the two industry standard widescreen aspect ratios of 1.85 to 1 and 2.35 to 1. This was chosen because it allowed enough height for humans and dinosaurs to fit into the same frame without giving up a sense of scope and closely matches the ratio of a digital IMAX screen. By February 7, 2014, Legendary Pictures had agreed to co-finance the film, and provided about 20% of the budget. China Film Group has been reported as also having financed the film. Casting by August 15, 2013, John Krasinski was in talks for a role as a dinosaur tamer. In September 2013, Bryce Dallas Howard was in early negotiations to play a role and was cast in early November. By mid-October, the Ty Simpkins had been cast as the child lead, while Nick Robinson was cast as the older brother of Simpkins' character. Robinson and Simpkins had to perform a screen test prior to being cast. During mid-October, Jake Johnson was being considered for a role, while Josh Brolin was in talks to play the adult lead. By the middle of November, Brolin was no longer in talks for the film, and Chris Pratt was in early negotiations for the lead role, a rugged ex-military man named Owen Ron Howard, Bryce's father confirmed through his Twitter in January 2014 that Pratt had been cast in a lead role. Trevorrow had been impressed by Pratt's acting in Zero Dark Thirty. Pratt had previously joked in 2010 that Spielberg had cast him in the film. Trevorrow said that, when Pratt was cast, we had no idea he'd become as big a star as he has. I just cast a bunch of character actors, as all Jurassic Park movies have. And somehow we ended up with a movie star. Pratt described his character as a combination of Alan Grant and Ian Malcolm. He's got a little bit of the Goldblum cynicism, but also the Sam Neill excitement at the wonder of the biology of it all, so it's a combination. By February 28th, Vincent D'Onofrio had joined the cast to play the film's antagonist. Irvan Khan was also cast as head of the Misrani Corporation, now in ownership of Isla Nublar and the park. That same month, Trevorrow confirmed that B.D. Wang would reprise his role as Dr. Henry Wu, and said the character would have a more significant role than in the original film. On March 21, 2014, French actor Omar C. announced he had joined the cast. Trevorrow had admired Sis acting, and wrote the character of Barry with him in mind for the role. On March 26, 2014, actor Jake Johnson confirmed his role in Jurassic World as a tech-savvy operations overseer named Lowry. By April 3, Judy Greer, Katie McGrath, and Lauren Lapkus had joined the cast. Andy Buckley was cast on May 7. By June 27, James Dumont had also joined the cast. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below.
please like and subscribe below.